Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Aces RG Dream League. And top lane, again, mind control being gone on. He does self up, but it is going to be cancelled with a fatal bonds damage. As Creeper's hit, they're trying to hide in the trees, but Yabso coming around, drops the cogs. Kuroki will be able to tether out, but Mind Control left behind it. And he actually survived this well with the Shadow Word damage ticking him down. It's going to be close. He pops the stick charges. He's going to look to deny himself. Isn't going to make it, though, as Error comes in with the crush. And Kuroki just hiding up in the tree line. He is going to be there to come across and give Mind Control the heals and the backup. Oh, I say that. Kuroki, where is he? Oh. There he is. Will allow Mind Control to get himself out. They're still going to try and attempt to chase this one down, though. He's too far back. And with Bulba turning up to the lane, they can look for the turnaround. The ball's come through. Slap Yap in the face. And the clock will fall. And we'll see Mind Control again pushing the hero to its limits. We'll see if it pays off this time. Jumps in with the Shakram onto Cinderin. Cinderin going to turn around and with the bash, ooh, keeping Kroki low. But the Grave comes out just in time from Bulba. And Mind Control this time will be able to get the kill. And the thing is, he may pay with the life of Kroki as Eris trying to come in across. They will find it there with a the final tick of the Shadow Word. Eris not done. He's looking towards Bulba. He wants to take down the second support as well. And he will. They're happy to kind of play a more farming tempo, play defensive and reactionary. And that's where the drums is a bit more durable. Ooh. Ooh, and down bottom, Escape Gaming trying to make a bit of a go on to Mind Control. They do have Hookshot available. They're going to go for it, but the reaction comes through. Nice Golem for Sin, though, has dropped to Mind Control. He falls, but some of that turns, and with a clear damage, clear Shaps or the pieces. They're trying to back off. He's turning towards the Golem, but the Golem from Sin is wrecking Matuma Man. He gets healed up from Bulba. He will survive, but they've lost two Liquid. Can they find themselves anything more to make the trade a little bit better? They'll look for Koifa. He goes for the TP out. Flame Break ain't going to do shit again. The Nurse hitting Miracle hard. The Liquid saying, all right. Unlikely escape game and go for a play because Gollum's still on cooldown. We'll see if it works and see if escape managed to catch anyone off guard. They look towards Matuma Man in the mid lane, jump in with a crush. They follow for Aya, but there's Kuroki there with the relocate out to the side, brings him back. Yapsos tried to jump in onto the back lines, but Mind Control, two betrays across it all. Good heals from Bulba, keeping the team alive. Yapsos will be punished as well. They will lose Kuroki, but Liquid, they found themselves a double kill for Mind Control. Well, if they're trying to get out with the Moonlight Shadow on the sideline, and he will get out of the range of the dust are in a very good tactical position to try and get a jump into this from the side. As Escape Gaming continues to move forward, they'll get the jump in, crush the tower onto Mind Control, they will burst the timber. Good start to the fight here for Escape Gaming, but they have committed the golem. The Timber Man questioning whether he wants to go in, and he does. He jumps in straight away, but there's the reactive roar onto the Spain Kuroki, backing on the Timber Man, keeping him alive though. The jump forward, the hook jump, and yeah, but the real kid, oh, the Star Stormer again! These Star Storms, the second drop each and every time, doing something magical against Liquid. Roshan down to less than half health. Liquid contemplating, going for some sort of big play here as Mind Control steps forward. In comes the Firefly, they'll jump in. Immediately taking one out with the lasso. Era comes in with a crush onto Mind Control. They're trying to beat down on the Timber Saw with a grave from Bowie allows it to go back. Cinderin drops the golem. Mind Control still going to be able to get out, and Cinderin is down. Miracle moving forward with the Firefly on top of Kezu. Drops the Beastmaster. Quite the trying to fight, but he's incredibly low. He's going to go down as well, almost certainly. Easy. One more touch would do it. Miracle can't find it. Yes, he can. But he's got the edge. Just quite for ready for round two. They've already lost Matuma Man. And the escape gaming could look to turn this fight. Jumps forward with the crush onto Miracle. That's the bat down. But was going for the TP. Is the bash there? Is the bash there? It's not. He needed it on the first hit. He doesn't get it. Error. Some of those ulti cooldowns for, es for escape. Let's just see what Escape Gaming do here. They are going to try and make a jump in with Error. The backup comes through. Miracle will catch out Error as he brings him back. But the arrow stun onto Matuma Man causing issues. Down incredibly low. Will pop the God Strength and the BKB. Tries to find himself out. But in fact, the last touch from the tower brings down the Sven. Escape Gaming surround Mind Control. He's out of mana. Almost certainly out of luck as well. They'll continue to chase down Mind Control. on the sideline. Quite for finished off Bulba. His buddy Anti Mage to uh, sell his. Yeah. He's found Mind Control. Is he going to go in with a hook shot? He's got the blame mail out. Walking the shack. Romero coming in with a jump. Liquid have got Miracle and Bulba there with the backup. Mind Control getting bashed. A column from Sin. Ah, oh, it's not going to stop the Shallow Grave coming out. It will still be there to protect Mind Control for the time being. He'll chop down onto Yapsaw. Eric jumps forward again with another crush onto Miracle. Looking to take down the bat. One more bash. He'll do it. Error getting himself the bat right. He turns with Mind Control. A quick Shakram will shut down the momentum of the Slardar. Bulba being surrounded. He's going to go for the TP out. They got any Thing to stop this, they do quite well with the arrow, takes down Bulba. We'll see how this plays off, see if maybe Escape Gaming hold off from fully committing until that stage. But in fact, a good arrow from Koifa could kick off the fight as they jump in, looking to burst him down. Not quite enough damage. Ooh, 
Oh, Yapsaw trying to come in with the hook, but the return jump in from Matuma Man onto the clock. Again, though, Liap forces away, drops the cogs. Kezu coming in the middle with the raw. The second one, this time onto Matuma Man, holding it in place. They've lost two. Era comes in with a crush onto Bulba, onto Mind Control. Bash, bash, bash. The timbers down. Forwards are full as well. These bashes, Era's just pulling them out from God knows where. It's a rampage for Koifa. Again, escape gaming, wiping liquid. They'll walk into the pit and find the perfect pickoffs. And there we have it. Yapso leads in with the hook. Terra jumps forward. He's not going to get the crush. Miracle with the BKB actually looking to lock down on Koifa. But look how tanky Koifa is. He doesn't care. Miracle amplified up. Era comes in with a they found both of the Miracle and Bulba to fall. The Roar onto Matuma Man as the Golem comes through. The Arrow follows in as well. Is he going to be able to live? He's been relocated out by Kuroki, but Mind Control. He is not going to stay alive. He gets the buyback. Two down. Matuma Man jumps in onto Kezu. Tries to chop at him. Kezu looking to duke it out, but the chakra in from Mind Control will finish off the Beastmaster. They use the fortification. Quite for trying to finish off the melee racks. It's not going to happen. Mind Control. He's looking to chase for more. Arrow jumps across. Dukes it out. Chakra again over onto Yapsaw. Timber Chain bringing Yapsaw incredibly low. Mind Control trying to work considering on the backliners, but the Moonlight Shadow causing issues. No. Mind Control. He's got the dust. He's prepared for this. Takes down Sin. But the jumping onto Matuma Man on the back of Matuma Man's down. 75 seconds. Mind Control. The last left alive, but maybe not for long. Error, where's the bashes here? He had them earlier. Can he find them again? Ooh, no, he can't. The Timber Chain will be successful, but the jump in for Quaker with the dagger on the right clicks is a triple kill for Quaker. Liquid all hitting the decks there. Yeah, Liquid will get the scan off. They know someone's here. Moonlight from the Mirana. For look to start this, but jumping onto Kez. They found the beast master, drag him back with the blood fawn. Kezu falling low, finally goes down another crit. The jump onto the Io though again. This magical burst too much for Kuroki. Kuroki's out. Yep, so trapping them up all in the cogs. The arrow comes in onto my control. Miracle the grave comes up just in time, but Kezu with the raw onto Matuba Man. Liquid lose three. Miracle getting bashed up by arrow. That's gonna be again another team wipe. It's too much for Liquid. They'll tap out and escape oh. gaming taking game one in what ends up being an absolute bloodbath 50 to 22 and Koikva having what's got to be one of the best games of his life there on Moran. Koikva was just huge. Game two between escape gaming and Team Liquid. Apparently. Sunstrike? Ooh. Oh, I heard it. I didn't yeah, see that it. would have been big if it I hit. Think, I think <laughs> mid? I think it was it mid. Okay. And Koifa, oh, nice hold on for one lane, jumping onto the Tumor Man, he'll get the Rage off, forces Kezu back. Yep, so Kezu, they're, they're going to stick around with the stun and the Iron Shell stacking up. <laughs> oh, okay, outplayed there, Matuma Man will find the kill with a quick invest, and in fact, he's looking to turn it into a double Yapso. Low on mana, low of chances to get himself out, and he won't. Matuma Man keeps it strong there with a double kill. They only saw the Ford Spirits, I imagine, with the Radiant with the radiant Vision, so they yeah. thought he was on the high ground. But... And look, Akezu's coming in. He's going to play around with Kuroki. Little does he know that Kuroki does have a Tumor Man here, but the Crush Era comes straight on to do. <gasps> oh, Yapdor with a stun! It's beautiful! They fight both of them, but the turnaround will be there because the Stone Gaze comes out. Sin's there with the goals, though, but Tumor Man falling low. Ball with just in time with the Clutch Grave again. Era jumps in with the Crush, dazzles out. The Tumor Man, can he only talk his way out of this one? The Shadow Word's down. Can he play his way? out the illusion is chasing him he rages as well to remove it remove the fatal bonds but the sun strike is it on point no it's not matuma man moving Ooh. perfectly to the side there ready to move towards the mid lane we'll see if they can catch anything out matuma man's gonna look for the lead in onto era back up it's on its way but a snowball into the face Great of the uh, it's not enough indeed sindo with the force out, the absolute jumps in, hits the two man stun, gets the magnetize out. Kuroki turns back with a punch, but the vacuum back immediately eliminating Kuroki from the fight. The absolute's not done. He's going to look to set up a boulder smash for more potentially. Bulber on the run, the jump forward again, keeping the magnetize going beautifully. The absolute finds a second. Oh, Matu in trouble. He's got oh, no range. Oh, and Error's okay, not done. He's, he, he might look for a potential blink here. Uh, Matu has been scattered out here by Koikba, and they're bringing in Slada. Okay, they need backup, and they need it quick on the side. The liquid is not going to come yeah. in time. It's who's gone. Quite for Down for so 50 well. odd yeah. seconds. He found the life stealer. He went in biz and just waited for the rage and to wear off. One more. They're searching forward. The tornado from Quite for is going to catch out Bob, but they jump in the boulder smash. They ain't going to get him, but the silence will. They'll jump in with error. On to Kuroki. Kuroki's out. Bulba to fall as well.
necessarily. Oh, and they're ready to move in immediately on to Miracle. The EMP's down. Miracle out of mana being bashed up as well. Bash, bash, bash. They just don't stop. Miracle will finally get back the vacuum for Kenzie. Drops the wall as well. But Tuma Man tried to initiate with Kuroki. Turns towards Era. Era's down. But he's got the Aegis ready for round two. And they've already lost Miracle. He's out for 70 seconds. No buyback available. Era back immediately. Gets the crush off onto the Tuma Man. Both of the cores down for a full minute without buyback. Escape Gaming are going to be allowed to hammer in onto the bottom set of racks, maybe look for more as well. Fortification will come out from Liquid, but with only three members alive, two supports, and an incredibly underfarmed Timbersaw, there's not a lot they can do to stop this onslaught. Yeah, that was so good of Eren, knowing the Aegis timing. Some of you have seen from Escape before, often they punish opponents for when they've had Aegis and they've gone in right as expired. They went in just with just enough time for Eren to initiate, get the kill on Medusa, and then he dies. It doesn't matter because he had the Aegis. He died about five to ten seconds. Quick for just right-clicking down those racks. Eren jumps in and hits the crush up the follow through. is going to be there. The Golems dropped from Sind, and there we have Mind Control being popped immediately. Miracle will come out with the Stone Gaze, trying to turn around, but they're losing the melee racks. They're going to fall. Kezu hitting a killing spree as he brings down Pulver on the back of him. Matuma Man jumps in with the rage, but Era's there with the crush. Mind Control doing good damage though with the Chakram. They'll actually take down Era. The ghost basically means if Life still gets on top of him, he's got an escape, but there we go. No contest oh, for the, the last rack. The overall scheme of things. There right, we have the first bit of action for the last few minutes as Era jumps in onto Miracle. As the backup, well, Miracle's already dead for 80 seconds. One golem's down, the double wall comes out from Kezu, and it's got to be all over now for Liquid. Four dead, five dead, GG well played is called. Nice. And Escape Gaming with a very convincing series there. Fantastic performance from Sin and the boys, and Liquid just uh, with a, a similar caliber of performance that we are used to seeing at the moment from this current roster. So. Mm. Unfortunate for Liquid. Still hoping to see the magic come back one day, but the magic certainly is there for Escape Gaming. Looking to be in fantastic shape coming into the qualifiers this week. Yeah.